you are right, but that might be the worst thing that could happen to you. Today, we're gonna to be talking about being right and how being right can be the very thing that's keeping you from closing deals, from negotiating, from influencing. So let's talk about being right. My name is Javon, Javon Perra with Paraloans.com and being right could be keeping you. So let's look at being right. When you are right, you know for sure that there's no other way that something could be. What happens is, you are closed off to every other possibility. So all I'm gonna say, and consider with me today, for the sake of your business, for the sake of your family, that maybe being right isn't the best thing. Instead, suspend your need to be right and think about it in a different way. Because you being right has started a lot of fights, I'm assuming. Would you rather be right or would you rather be happy? You say, I told, I told you that I'd be there at five. They say, and they could be your client, they could be your wife, they could be your kids. They say, no, you said you'd be here at four. You say, no, I said five. They say, no, you said four. And then all of a sudden you're fighting about who's right about a time when the whole point of getting together was to enjoy each other's company or figure out a way to make money. But now there's no possibility for that because you care more about being right about some time than you do about the vision. So here's what I'd like you to consider. Instead of being right, what, why not think what works? What works? What works? What works? And what works, if you're thinking about that, always points to vision. What's the vision? What is the purpose of even meeting? What's the purpose of doing a deal? So let's take an example here. You're, you have a deal, let's say you're a real estate agent, which most of you are. Let's say you have a deal that uh, the value comes in low and the seller says, you know, I'm not lowering my, my purchase price because this place is worth this much. And the buyer says, I'm not gonna raise, I'm not gonna pay that price. Obviously the value is less. There's no way I'm gonna put more money down. And both people are right. They both have great reasons to believe exactly what it is. Your job isn't to be right about a price. Your job is to go back to what works. What's the vision? So for a seller, do you even know why they want to sell a house? Just to make money is a it's a poor reason to sell a house, at least for influencing. You got to find out what they're doing with the money, where they're going, why they got to go, why they got to go right now. I just had a deal where the seller, he joined the army and he's getting shipped out. And so he was willing to take a much lower price because he needed to sell that place because he was gonna get on a plane and go somewhere else. It would have been very hard for him to hold out for the right price because he had an urgent reason to go. And so for that guy, the, the value comes in low, let's say, he's like, well, you know what? It's fine, I'm lowering the price because my vision, my why, what works for me is getting out of here. Now, what's the reason for the buyer? Who knows? Why do they want to move in? What do they, how, what's the life that they see themselves in if they buy that house? How's that going to fit in? Speak to those things, the home for the family, all that kind of thing. Your job is to negotiate by finding out why and, and getting and sidestepping the right stuff because people will fight on the right stuff. So let's say it's another true story. Let's say that you have an investor that wants a good deal and he says, I'll buy anything that's 20% under market. You find him something that's 20% under market, but the asking price is the, the sellers aren't willing to budge on the asking price. And this investor's like, well, I'm not going to buy the thing if they're not willing to give me a good deal. Because in the, in the investor's mind, getting lower than the asking price, the price is the good deal. And so they pass up on what they say they wanted, 20% under market, because they don't have a good deal by their definition. Do you fight them because you're right? I got you what you wanted, 20% under market. It's not gonna help. No, what you do is you go back to the vision. Hey, what works here? Instead of being right, what works? Well, in this case, uh, the solution, what would work best in negotiating here, is to go back to the vision and to, and to give them a scenario. Listen, sir, if, if I found this at, at market price, which, which was this price, and I was able to negotiate down to 20% under, under that, 
would that be a great deal for you? I have an option like that. Yes. Well, that option is this one that we're looking at right now. Would you consider, and then you can go into tying it into their original, their original goals. So consider, it's not about being right, it's about what works. How many things in your life are you committed to being right about and you push the people away that just have different opinions than you and you forget at all the whole reason, the vision behind the relationship. What is the vision behind the relationship? Maybe you know it's just to enjoy each other. Maybe it's to love them. Maybe it's to make money. Maybe it's to have a support structure so that the nature of the business can go forward. Go back to what that is and lead with that vision and then open up. Hey, how can we accomplish that? It's not about being right, it's about accomplishing that vision. And the great question is, how can we? How can we? Open it up. Hope this is really helpful. Again, Javon Para with paraloans.com, paragroup.com. I really want to help you out. And, and if there's a way for me to help you get the money for the real estate that you, your clients need, think of me. Have a great day.